so this is 263b uh, here we're focusing on the function having previously described the structure we'll be looking at the cardiac cycle cardiac means heart and the cycle refers to the repeated beats of the heart so these are the beats or the beat <coughs> a typical heart rate of 60 beats per minute would mean that we have one beat per second so a cycle is taking one second in this diagram the heart is in a state of diastole which means that it's relaxed I draw your attention to the closed semilunar valves the closed bicuspid valve and the closed tricuspid valve here In this diagram, the heart is still in a state of diastole. That means that the heart muscle is still all relaxed. But what we can see is that the atria are filling with blood here and here. And this is because of the return of blood in veins. So the veins are sending blood back to the heart and they're filling up the left and right atria and this blood vessel here and here is the pulmonary vein from the lung and these ones here is the vena cava which are the blood vessels returning blood from the body notice that the valves here are still closed In this diagram, the valves here and here have opened. So this is the bicuspid. And over here we have the tricuspid. And they've opened. And the reason for this is that the pressure in the atria is greater than the pressure in the ventricles. So that causes the opening of these two valves here. The ventricles fill with blood and a final contraction of the atria together, both the left, the walls here of the right atria and the walls the left ear contract together and force blood down into the ventricles stretching the walls here and filling up the final volume of the ventricles so we have contraction of the atria <coughs> in this diagram notice that the bicuspid and the tricuspid valve are closed but that the semilunar valves are also closed now we have contraction of the walls of the ventricle and this is a condition called systole in which the heart is contracting And of course that increases the pressure with of the blood inside each ventricle. So the ventricle pressure has increased. In fact the ventricle pressure is greater than the atrial pressure. And the consequence of this is the closure of these two valves. So we close the cuspid valves. Now this causes what is known as the first heart sound. Notice that the semilunar valves are still closed. 
so the blood within this chamber here and here is under increasing pressure and so you get a rapid pressure rise since it can't escape in this diagram the ventricle pressure is actually now greater than the artery pressure so that the semilunar valves have both opened so SL for semilunar valves open and what happens is that we eject a pulse of blood into the two arteries this one here is the pulmonary artery and this one over here is the aorta so we eject a pulse of blood and finally in this diagram the heart has returned to a state of diastole it is relaxed at which point the artery pressure is greater than the ventricle pressure which means that the semilunar valves both close together so let's put SL closes and this actually causes the second heart sound heart sounds are often described using the words lub and dub lub dub lub dub this being the first heart sound and this being the second heart sound but it's actually caused by the closure of valves and not by the contraction of the ventricles this takes us full cycle back to the original diagram and so the cycle is at an end <laughs>